Ooh, it's getting a little bit tricky over here, huh? Tide is definitely coming up. We better hop on on this jetty, dude. Get the sand out over here so we don't slide down. We better hop up on this jetty while we still can. Because once the tide goes up over here, my friends, man, you either stay here until the tide goes down. You feel me? Or, oh, may have a... Uh, to come over here and do like this because here's a little can be a little bit tricky yeah there we go this is one of the sketchier jetties to kind of get on that's why there's no body over here there's three people, <laughs> people on the left can come here if your legs are no good and we got about two people on the pavilion over there that's what's up dude we're ready over here to do some talking here at the Absecon inlet add some more species to the 2023 species marathon tide is coming up as your folks saw just now let's see how's the situation over here huh oh yeah oh yeah i like what i see let me prepare my rods over here real quick man let's get some fishing done all right it's been a while it's been a while since i've been out here gotta make sure that these rocks are not slippery the tide is also coming up so dog fishing can be okay this rock is good first thing that we need to do is find the dog holes has been a little while since I've been here, so I got my polarized lenses on, right? I'm going to look down here, you see all of that? And try to find some crevices, some cracks that leads to like a deeper hole. Once I find those dog holes, well, then we're going to talk more about it in this video. Let's find them first. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a good hole right here. Oh yeah, okay, oh yeah, had a bite in this hole right here, immediately on the shrimp, you see that? When you find a deeper hole, dude, that's how it is. The fish will bite instantaneously. Took my shrimp, I think. Oh no, it's still on, still on. Yeah, it's little bergal. I'm pretty sure it's a little bergal, but the thing is, I don't have bergal for 2023 yet. Time to put another piece of shrimp and that, that's a good hole right there. The hole is right here beautiful yeah right into it oh dude that bite was a little bit stronger may not just be bergal dude there may be some shorter dog or something here trying to get the stuff man i don't know definitely some some bites going on here oh, there's definitely bergal down there i'll tell you that they're on the shrimp Got one. Got a Bergal, son. First Bergal of 2023 right here, dude. For the 2023 this Species Marathon. Sir, yes, sir. Look at that, huh? The Cunner, aka Tautogolabrus Aspersus, one of the only Ras here in the Northeast. Very, very slippery, full of spines. Let me unhook it off camera over here. In the bucket it goes, we're gonna take a photo of it. It is actually interesting, isn't it? The fact that when you go down to places like, say, Florida, you find all these very cute, beautiful types of ras down there, like the blue head, the thalassoma, bifaciatum, right? And unbeknownst to a lot of people, even our favorite here on the YouTube channel, the slippery dick, the Halicoetis bivitatus is a type of ras as well. You have the pudding wife ras, right? The Halicoetis hadiatus. That's why I take great pride and joy when it comes to this little fella here in the Northeast. Because this, my friends, other than the Tao Tog, is our ras of the Northeast. Look at the orange dots over there. Blue like the bluegill here on the operculum. This right here, my friends, is the Cunner. People also call this the Bergal. It is the Tautogolabrus 
Adspersus, species number 137 for 2023. I'm not going to take any of these little fellas out here today, so I just release it out there. They live in the little rock cracks of the jetties, right? All different types of structures that you can find out there. So that is beautiful. I've been traveling all over the country, as you folks have seen here on the YouTube channel, right? We went down to Florida, we went to Connecticut. I am missing so many species locally for the 2023 species marathon. So that one, the cutter, was my first one of this year, which is great. I'm going to put some little pieces of green crabs now and try to catch my first Tau Tog, which is another species of Ross. A very yummy, by the way, very yummy one. If we catch a keeper today, I'm taking it back home to eat. So let me switch to some green crabs, hook them up, drop them in the juicy holes. And hopefully we're going to add that one soon enough. We got here a little green crab. It is an invasive species of crab here in the United States of America. They actually come from Europe, right? If you watch my videos from Boston back in the days. Grab a pair of scissors. You know, I'm using acrylic ones and just cut them just like this. Boom, into two pieces. Later, you can cut them into four pieces. I'm gonna use the back part over here hook it on the hook and drop it in the hole oh actually that's the wrong hole take it easy this is the right hole right here and even the the right hole over here you have to kind of it's weird it's weird yeah there we go there we go even the right hole, you have, you have to position yourself correctly to go deeper, you know? There we go. No, no, no. Now we are all the way in there. And you just have to position yourself right, you know? A little bit to the left over here. Goes all the way in there. Some holes are like that. Some holes you need to position yourself so that you can go all the way in, you know? So when you come to areas like this, looking for them juicy holes, don't give up. Make sure you twitch it a little to the left, a little to the right, until you find the right hole. Look, 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 dude! You see that, dude? It just went down a little bit more, bro. It just went deeper, you see that? Gotta tweak it a little bit. Oh, that was a better bite. That's a better bite, that's a tau tog. Oh, tiny one though, dude. But it's still a tog though. It's a tiny, tiny one. But it is a new species for 2000. <laughs> oh man, this is the size of the Tau Tok down there, dude. Bro, look at the size of this little creature. I mean, don't take me wrong. It is a new species for this year. Okay, I'm gonna hook here real quick and show it to you all. Man, that is a baby dog, man. Look at the size of this little creature right over here. It is so dark too. Came from under the rock. 138 for 2023. I tell you what, don't underestimate this fish, okay? You see the mouth of this fish right over here? I'm gonna tell you, that little mouth, man, can crush a lot of different types of shells and crabs down there, okay? I'm gonna release this one along the area where I caught it. I caught it right over there in that hole. There's still a lot of bergol over there. Now I'm contemplating, should I continue tog fishing or since I already added the two species over there to the 2023 species marathon, should I actually change my rig and start casting outwards to see if there's anything else, huh? Mm. Decisions, decisions. I'm about to get some vengeance on all these burgol that have been stealing my crabs, man ultralight with solid tip technology over here you bite you die man that's how it is there ain't no forgiving anyone here look at this you bite four pound test line okay four pound test line you bite dude four pound test line will land a talk bigger than the last one <laughs> size 12 hook i was going to say you bite you die man that's how it is i put the other rod out there 
with a piece of shrimp that rot right over there so if anything bites right maybe we get a skate maybe we'll get a a dog fish right meanwhile meanwhile heck yeah have some fun with the ultra light one dog going down there that's how we're gonna do it my man don't underestimate the power of the epf rod solid tip technology over here bet you never seen this kind of stuff huh bet you never seen oh i missed it <laughs> bet you never seen nobody dog fishing with four pound test line son because this type of fishing right here let me tell you something okay it ain't for the faint of heart okay it ain't for the faint of heart dude you are good you know you're making this up this is the stuff that was stealing my crabs down there dude that's why you see that's why my crab was getting gone down there bro dude this is this is the 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 baby this is the baby of the baby dog bro oh it's so cute with the patterns and the colors too look at the the man all right you know what go down there and grow up to be a big strong keeper dog in the future okay the dog is also a ras you know here of the northeast grows to humongous sizes but it takes forever for them to grow though so gotta keep the small gotta release the small ones man no poaching <laughs> Look, can make that up look at the size of that thing let me get my scissors my bait real quick and the bucket because i want to show you all a little something but before that let me just tell you a little something okay the water here is still relatively cold i can't really say that today was a failure because clearly it wasn't we ended up adding two species right to the 2023 species marathon but it actually fascinates me that, you know, in as little as two weeks from now, say like mid-May, you come back to this area and this area is going to be filled with life. You can catch some lures and catch some blue fish, the pomatomus, saltatrix, right? Fluke season is going to open up in May, right? The summer flounder, the paralictis, dentatus, but right now, you come down here, man, you'll be lucky to catch some dogfish or some skates because I, I'm going to tell you a little something. This rod has been out there the entire afternoon. I didn't get a single bite on shrimp or on cut bergal, okay? Which is why I got some live bergal over here now. Maybe I'm going to throw some live ones out there for the rest of the day, right? Which kind of brings me to my next point in this video. Boy, I never thought that the day would come, but it has come. Today, ladies and gentlemen, EPF, your boy over here, I've exhausted that hole, man. Dude, I've worked that hole so hard from all different angles, all different depths, dude. I punch it so hard. You cast something in that hole right now. You are not going to get a bite, okay? In, in an open body of water, the ocean environment, okay? I've caught it all. I've caught every single fish or, or close to every single fish in that particular combination of rocks, right? In that hole right there. And let me show you a little something, okay? Why your bait keeps disappearing when you come down here to AC and you punch your stuff down there. These right here are all bergal of different sizes okay this size over here is already difficult <laughs> it's already difficult to catch on like a size 10 12 hook okay but this size over here that i'm about to show you which i caught a few of them today from the hole okay this size over here you really really need a 22 to a tanago to catch it and there are plenty of them this size down there right the ras of the northeast man the bergal so i got six of them here in the bucket but as always i'm gonna leave the numbers over here you can see that it was not an easy day for me right you may watch this video and just be, <laughs> be like yo so you you just catch this little fish for fun right no not exactly right i really thought to myself that 
if I just call the population of Bergal over there and I catch them all, maybe something different is going to show up, right? Maybe a little rare, tiny species. But as you can see, it took great efforts for me to do so. And even so, there was nothing else there, man. It was all Bergal and baby Tautog. <laughs> so yeah, today is one of those days. If you need some live bait though, come down here to Atlantic City, baby. No? Get yourself some free live bait, no minimum size on Bergal or Connor. If you like eating them, there's some nice eating sizes over here too. A little bit bony, but good meat. I will see you all next time. I got one more day down here at Atlantic City. We will see what happens. Try another spot, you know. Thank you very much for watching this video as always. I hope you learned some interesting stuff here, okay? Tie lines and take it easy. All right, let's check. See what the f shrimp has been down there for 25 minutes, dude. I didn't even see the rod move. Sometimes a crab will get the shrimp. Oh my lord, you can't make that up, dude. The sea is dead, my friends. <laughs> the shrimp is still old. 25 minutes down there, the thing didn't even move, bro, oh, man. I don't know if I should laugh or cry about this stuff. Sometimes I'm complaining, you know, like, oh, spider crab got, got my bait, right? This thing has been down there for 25 minutes while I've been catching baby Bergo and baby Tog, no keepers. Biggest Tog today so far has been in the range of like 10 inches. You really can't make that up, man. That's AC fishing for you, you know? Meanwhile, people tell me that Barnegat Light, Barnegat Inlet has been on fire. Dog has been good. <sighs> but anyways, we are going after a species. So, <sighs> come on, bite. Before the end of the day, give me something new. <laughs> <We'll see. laughs> bite. <laughs>